That was awesome. All right, so as you guys can see, still a few things left to address on the gears. I'm definitely wanting to have more stuff to show you guys other than us dealing with the right main landing gear every single week. And I know it seems that way lately, but it's one of those things. She's an old aircraft built in 1965 and trying to do, it, do what we can to take good care of her and keep her operational. The goal still is to get her in the air this year. And again, hopefully in time for our air show, which typically is in the end of October uh, here locally. But uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing the good work and keep plugging away at it and uh, one thing at a time, step by step. Yeah. Come on, now what we got going on here? We're well, trying to reseal the uh, uplock actuators uh, mechanisms. And as you can see, this goes through the bottom of the actuator and it will port fluid in and out. Where's the... Oh, there it is. See where they port in and out right there. Cool. And then this is your delivery portions. And all of these are new seals. And on both sides of this are new seals. Same thing on this side. Try to get rid of those dead gum leaks. Yeah. So, I think, uh, and then the, I think you mentioned the uplock is moving normal. Right. Well, the the, the hook itself, I, you know. I, I disconnected it and it just moved up and down real easy and while it was still connected to the actuator you just have to take a screwdriver and over center the actuator and everything works you know? nice so hopefully we'll get a good swing here shortly well I maybe today i don't know about today we but we got several leaks to work today so yeah but we'll, we'll give it a shot nice yeah this is all you want to do is take this bolt off right here yeah. right now what we got going on with the actuator here well we're going to take the actuator off so during reassembly it won't be so difficult because it's spring loaded to the down position. Oh, there's the spring. Okay. Right. And now we're going to clean this up, make sure this side's good, and, we, and this just checks good, then we'll start putting this side back together. And now this does move freely, which is nice. Yeah, you can move it. So, so that puts the gear up and locked, and then that'll bring it down when it comes down. Okay. And there's a sequence in there, sequence switch. A sequencing valve or something? It's a sequence switch because the doors have to come. This door has to come open first, then the sequence can tell the gear to come down, and that will unlock. Nice. So, yeah. So, likely something up in here possibly is hanging us up to keep that one inner door. I don't think so, because this this isn't going all the way closed. Okay, and if this is moving that freely, see, I, I haven't been able to. Now, when we take this actuator off, mm -hmm. I may give it a couple of tries, but I don't think this actuator is bad. Oh, that's good. It's going to be a process of elimination. Yeah, one thing after another. I mean, I nice. Guess we'll get her going. You will. It just takes a while. Certainly don't want. <laughs> as long as this thing's been leak, uh, sitting, it's going to leak, and we'll we'll get them. Yeah. It just takes a while to get the parts sometimes. Yep. And we'll that get that her off the jack stands and uh, get her going. Yeah. Well, once we get the gear leaks out of the way, we'll put her down. We'll do our flight control checks, and if they're all good, then we're going to take it out and run it. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Afterburner, baby. Well, uh, we'll go out and just do a functional run for now, <laughs> and then we'll probably uh, do the burner run and the high-speed taxi check at the same time. One thing at a time. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Baby steps. Nice, indeed. Yeah. Steps for baby. Mm-hmm. All right. So another thing that did show up for us this uh, this week, we got a fan belt. So now I can get uh, Sparky here uh, back on the uh, back on the ramp. So let's take a look and see what's going on in here. Go figure, it's too short. I ordered the wrong size, silly me. Alrighty, got a bigger belt this time, so let's go try to get this onto the tug now. Hmm, this one's too long. 
Great, even with the alternator extended all the way out, it's still too long. Arg! Too short or too long. Now we got to find one that's just right. All right, 50 inch belt, 58 inch belt. Looks like we need a 54. <sighs> Some of the fun of the maintaining the equipment. All right, so we pulled that T-fitting and reducer back out of the hole in the right main. Yeah, let's see if I can get this to show up. Looks like we got a little bit of a gouged face right there, so we're gonna get a new one of these. And we completely resealed the uplock, both on this side, checked out the ram. Everything is looking okay now on this. Come over here to the left main. We're working on the uplock mechanism on this one. We had a small seep here, so we're gonna we fully resealed this one as well. And finally, walk up to the nose. We are working on this one as well. Where did we? Another reducer fitting up top there that was leaking enough that we needed to address it, but we took that down and we're going to deal with that as well. So, a lot of progress this week. So, what we're hoping to do next week is get another good gear swing, and uh, as long as that goes well, we'll. Um, We'll get her down on her feet. Alrighty guys, that's all I got for this week. Uh, should have a belt for this tug next week as well, so take care of that. I'll straighten my head a little bit. But um, yeah, hopefully uh, we plan on putting the uh, hydraulics back on it yet again. And hopefully get a good gear swing. Uh, so once we get that knocked out and a new fan belt on this, we'll uh, We'll get her down on her feet and move on to flight control surfaces. We got to put hydraulic pressure on both PC1 and PC2 systems and function check all of those controls. And then we can finally move on to engine testing where we'll actually pull her out and start her up and function check everything that's attached to the engines, hydraulics, air pressure, everything that goes along with that. So that's in the works, but we've got to get this utility system knocked out first. So anyway, thanks for hanging in there guys. And thank you for watching.